What is going on, guys? Go share today. We're back in Real Deal RP. Link is in the description for the Discord. Anyway, today we're back at the shop at Hampshire Wheels. Now, a lot of y'all want to see me build, do some builds and everything. So, today we're going to do a little quick build and everything. Now, if you remember this, um, let me uh, this Jeep right here. This is what Bob was running the other day, and it was when I had my square body, and he flipped it on its lid. And I was like, just turn it off and everything, that way we don't do any more damage. Luckily, it, it didn't really do any damage. Had a couple of things we had to do. I had to replace the top rack and everything. But we went ahead and did a, a, a primer a paint job on it and everything. I was checking out the motor, make sure everything's good. Change the oil, transmission fluid, everything like that. Now, this thing does have the V8, so it's, it's got a little pep in its step. And I was thinking, we should make this more off-roady. Is that a word, off-roady? Off I don't know, it is now. Someone put it in the dictionary. Anyways, um, we're going to make this a little bit more off-road. So, we're going to put bigger tires, bigger suspension, and we're gonna put a sweet paint job on it. I really don't know what color I like. I kind of dig like the gold bronze that it was, but I don't know. I'm thinking maybe if we did like a candy red, like a formula red, and maybe formula red bead locks or something, because we'll, we'll probably put about maybe 35s or 38s on it. But we're gonna make this thing look good. Now, first thing is, I gotta see how it does because I haven't really drove it. I, Literally let Bob drive it, and he flipped it on its lid. But I couldn't say anything because I I did demolish my truck. I can't say something because this was my Jeep he wrecked. <laughs> he wrecked. All right, so we're going to go up here. I, there's like a little spot here. We're going to do a little test on it. Watch me, like, completely total it. But I want the flex good and everything, or decent. So we really don't have any flex. Um, we're going to... Probably do like one tons all the way around. Oh, look at that. We can't even make that. There we go. We got to get. Okay. Apparently it doesn't like it. We. I'm spinning all fours. Neutral drop. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to give it some some um. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it. This, okay, there we go. We had to give it a little bit more, but I want to do some slow crawls and everything with it. And I feel like it'd be something we could sell. It'd be really good and everything, so. Uh-oh. Don't turn over. Don't turn over whatever you do. All right, so this is definitely be something we could sell um, after we have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and pull it in here, and let's go ahead and build it. All right, I gotta get rims, tires, and everything. Get those sent over, and everything. So that's good. Let me go ahead and call one of my buddies. I know he's got parts. All right, let's see. Is that that looks pretty good? I think that's going to clear. These tires might be a little too big for what we're going to do, but I think it'll work out pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slap on the other ones. I love these bead locks. I think they're like what spider bead locks or something like that. I think it's something along with it like that. But we'll go ahead and slap on the other ones and everything, and I think we'll be pretty good that we can slap on a paint job. This thing should go better. Remove the back plate. Um, I actually had a new plate for this thing. So we got that. So let's go ahead and slap the rest of the tires on. All right, we are good to go. I was just double checking to make sure that the oil and everything was good because Again, I've changed the oil and everything, drove it, and I just want to make sure we're good again and transmission fluid since it was upside down for a little bit. All right, we got all the tires on. I think they look good. I feel like they are going to maybe rub a little bit, but these are the size I ordered, and I love, you got to love these style tires. These are just aggressive looking. I should cut them. I should have it like every other, how it's cut. But we're going to slap a beautiful paint job on this thing. Let me go get some cans. I don't think I have the on me. Um, I do have some cans on me. So check this out. The other day, I was actually getting ready to pull in a garage over at Sandy, and there was something laying on, <laughs> something laying on the ground, and it was a, it was a gun. There was literally a gun. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, cop uh, firearm, but it's kind of broken. So I, I gotta find somebody to repair it, or something like that. 
and then we'll have a weapon. I mean, which I can get a weapon license, but hey, it was free, you know. And so I don't know. But we got some cans of paint. Let's go ahead. I'm thinking we could do something crazy with this. Like a crazy paint job always sells the vehicle. That's the number one thing. Crazy paint jobs, like coming across the auction, if it's got a good paint job, it get it, it literally gets my attention. Um, if we did chameleon, hmm, Christmas, no, I really don't want chrome, we got night and day, I don't know what that is, Vice City, I think that's like a, we did sprunk on a mud truck that we sold, so I don't want to do that, temperature I think is like red and yellow, maybe, I don't know, let's try Vice City and see what it looks like it's gonna be a crawler but we want it to look good uh i don't know like i feel like it's more like a i don't know i feel like just to be more of a show truck looking paint job versus kind of like off-road so i don't want that one um you know what let's just go in here and we can actually preview air. We'll get the paint splotches out and we will go from there. Because, I mean, of course, you know. Let's go to paint. Primary, chameleon. That, I actually kind of like that. Um, let's see, sunset. I like that. Temperature, no. Huh. Four Seasons. It, Christmas. I kind of like that. That actually looks like pretty good. Not going to lie. I kind of like that color. So that's what we're going to do. We should uh, we should get an email of what color it is. I didn't forgot what it was. It's a bad thing. What color it's going to be. Cammon. I probably pronounced that wrong. Alright, so if we did that and then maybe black on the bottom, or should we do all of it? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's do here. Bad thing about building the vehicle is I can't ask y'all for your opinions because it's already built by the time you watch it and everything so i'll probably maybe do some builds on live stream if you're not make sure to follow me on twitch at elite rejects i uh go live every tuesday thursday and sunday at 8 p.m eastern all right so i like this what if we did should i do the bottom black i have a bunch of paint because i paid about thirty two thousand dollars in paint the other day if i did black is that would that be good I don't know maybe I don't know let me one of the Bob's in town let me call him he's not in town okay well I don't know like I like it let's let's pull it outside and see what it looks like first that's gonna be the first thing if I do we don't have that good lighting in here let me see. Does it look good? I mean, I kind of, I do like this paint job. It looked darker in the shop, though. Um, I don't know. It probably would look better if it was red. But I do like the paint job. Oh my gosh, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions, I don't know. Do I like it? Do I not? I feel like we should paint the bottom and just make it all one color because if not, it's going to kind of bother me because I just, I don't know, I just, the, the black just doesn't, like, make it pop like the top does. So, let's go ahead and paint the bottom. We're going to paint the plastic. I got to get some more paint. Uh, let's see. I'm not on duty. I thought I just was. I don't know. Let me go up here. Okay, there we go. We're good. We are good. Okay, we're good now. I had to clock in. All right. Let's open this. I need to get some paint. We don't even get that many paint left, so 
Probably need to give some. I'm going to do that. I'll put a tier three. I don't know if we can tint it or not or the headlights, but we will try. It just uh, it, it just depends on the vehicle. So let's go ahead and slap. See, in here it looks good. Outside it's like real, like, purpley. I wonder if I could put like a pearlescent on this, like a, a darker one. It's metallic graphite. What if I did like maybe like black? I wonder if that would look good. Or if it would like, you know, kind of tame it down so it'd be a darker color. We, well, we'll try it. I mean, that's what it's all about. So, that looks much better. I feel like if you color match bumpers and stuff, it actually makes the vehicle look like a little bit more expensive. So, let's go ahead and get... We'll get two more cans. I got to get some more cans. Luckily, hopefully, we'll have a paint area up there where I can actually mix paint and everything. Um, I've been talking to the government, and I like to... If you remember the OG hamster wheels, we were actually a part store. We wasn't a, a, a fab shop or anything like that. We was a part store. So, talk to the government, and hopefully, maybe, we might become a, a, a part store again. And we'll have people delivering parts and stuff. But we'll still have the fab shop, but the fab shop would be stuff that... We'll build, we will build, and then we'll sell just every so often and everything. But you can make money off of parts like crazy. Um, let's see. If we change this, what was it? Metallic graphite. If we change that to, say, metallic black, wonder if it'll knock the color down a little bit. Okay, I think that actually did absolutely nothing. Okay, well, we can't do that. Let's see if I can saw some headlights. Like I said, certain vehicles are funny. This might not be the right size bulbs. Yep, looks like it's that. Yep, let me go ahead and hook this wire harness up under here. All right, so we got good lights. Now for the windows, I don't know. These windows might not like window tint. Um, I don't know. Let's do... Dark smoke. Please do not tint the front windshield. It tinted the front windshield. I can't do that. Can't do that. I absolutely hate it. Bad thing is, I put the lift on this vehicle, but I must have not fixed the front windshield, so I can't do that. Alright. I want to rip it back off. Tint removal. I just, I hate the front windshield tinted. And apparently my headlight likes that. So now we can actually see where we are off-roading. Now let's go ahead and slap a big old tier three in her. I ain't got no turbo or anything like that. So we we'll just put we'll just put a little bit of a little bit of upgrades to it. Yeah, we'll put an intake and all that stuff on it. Perfect. Now she should have a little bit more pep in her step. Let's see. I know she ain't gonna be no you know, drag race thing. Start now. There we go. Let's see what it looks like. She does flex a little bit more. Look at that. Yeah. I'm going to drive over the edge. I know it. Look at that. Woo! Flexing. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and lock the shop so nobody steals us blind. And we're going to take off and go for a little ride. All right. What are we, I thought Bob was around, but apparently not. No, PA. Okay, well, I guess uh, Bob's not here, so. All right. This thing's actually looks pretty cool. I don't know. It The color's got to grow on me. But let's see how she does. Actually, we'll just, we'll, we'll take it for a test over here. We got a little bit of rocks. Oh, yeah. We, we got some suspension and everything. A lot better than what we had, so let's see. Well, RIP the paint job, but yeah, you know, we already scratched it. But you know what? It's going to happen. It's a rock crawler. I mean, that's that's just you know the name of the game. Oh, she got a little bit more power in her. All right, so can we just you know just cruise up? Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, she's ready for. Some mud, rocks, whatever you throw at her. We just need to put a uh, a winch on her and everything. I don't even know. We don't even need a winch. That would be the selling point. So good, you don't need a winch. 
We'll sell this thing. Um, put it in the comment or comments. Uh, what you? How much you think this is worth? I mean, the Jeep was worth. I know you can pick these up for you know about fifteen hundred bucks, and I know you can because my aunt just literally just bought one of these. So it's about fifteen hundred bucks for lift tires. I say about fifteen thousand. We could probably make a profit because the paint job and everything in the fifteen thousand cans we use. How fast does this thing go? There's 50, there's 60, 70. I say we can do about 80, but it starts getting a little bit squirrely. I thought that guy had an RC over there. That's a dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, we gotta, let's go over here. We'll, we'll try to climb the old, uh, uh, what's it called? The, uh, alien place. <laughs> Aliens. They're mongus. All right, let's go over here and see how bad this thing does. How good this thing does is what it needs to be. I could be at some point. Hey, buddy, kind of early to be drinking, but hey, you know what? You do you, buddy. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, golly. Oh, that might have been a big scratch right there. It never fails. Like, something always happens. Huh, look, it's a alien butt. All right, we've got a little place over here. I'm not trying to total it because we are trying to sell it. And I will make sure I say it's never been, <laughs> never been flipped. Literally. All right, can we make it through here? Look at that. Let me get a little, little flex. Oh, if I get the wheels to bite, we're good. I think it's pretty good. It'll be, it'll be a good little off-road rig for somebody. This thing actually has some good little pep in the step. It's slow taking off, but... Yeah, it's pretty good. Golly. Oh, yeah, we're good. Let's, let's go ahead and get back down here. I didn't upgrade the brakes or anything, which we do have bigger tires, so I should probably upgrade the brakes, but I don't think I have any, like, brakes or anything at the shop, so I'll have to, I'll have to run and get some or send Bob to get some uh, when he comes in today. Oh, yeah, this thing is magical. I just say magical. Hey, your car ain't got no wheels. Well, this side does. Thank you. See, look, it's hippie approved. See, save the environment at one rock at a time. Oh, I'll give it the beans. Interior's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's just decent. Got that really nice, sweet classic radio. You know, this thing like turns on a dime. Bam! Back to the shop. We got. We'll go off road with it. Woo! Oh, golly, that might have been something. All right, so we already scratched it. Probably hurt the bumper a little bit. But it's all testing. All testing. Like uh, SpongeBob says, it's all about the finger strength, baby. I don't even, like, I, I, I don't know. All right, well, this bad boy is done. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, the paint job, it's iffy. I don't know if I like it or not. But every gets it can always paint it. But right now, they are going to be paying for that paint job. So I think about 15 grand. We could probably get about 25 out of it or something. If we send it to auction, probably a little more. But I like to just sell stuff every now and then and not have to go to auction all the time. But I like it. I think it looks good. Yeah, we do got some scratches right there. But you know what? Every dent tells a story. Just remember that. <laughs> if it looks like a big, just one whole big dent, then that's one heck of a story. It's got chapters. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, woo! Ha <laughs> ha! America, baby. Oh, my door's locked. Where's my keys? Where is my dag go keys? Oh, please be in here.